Hey YouTube, this is Scarecrow Kaiser. Um, this is gonna be my Chat Fox Legion Break Ride 16G Zone update. It's been a while since I did a Great Nature deck profile, so especially with the G Zone increasing, I thought I'd do it. Um, I actually just played this deck yesterday at a locals and went undefeated with it, so yay, it works pretty well. <laughs> Um, I think most people would agree Chat Fox is probably the best build to run at the moment. So, Alright, getting started with it. For the grade 3s, we have 3 Chat Noir, our break ride, and 3 Legion Mate. So, there's only 6 grade 3s. You don't need to run more if you have Mixabaru in your deck, who we'll helps search your grade 3s and the way the deck is built to run. Um, so, that gives you more room for 12s or 2s and 1s. Um, some people like to play two Chatner and four Fox. Um, I like the three and three. Uh, a lot of times I can just actually draw the Fox or draw the Chatner, and then um, I can just go grab the Legion Mate or vice versa. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's f running perfectly fine as is. Uh, grade two lineup. Uh, for Binocular Tiger, um, he's a pretty decent card on the rear guard, but most of I like playing him to ride him on turn two as a vanguard. He works really well like that. See, so has no cost, and he can pump something and then it dies. Helps you get off your Mike Sabaru and stuff. Um, then I play for the Legion Mate and for Cran Tiger. Um, Cran Tiger's contribution to that can't be underestimated. If he didn't exist, uh, the deck would really honestly suck. <laughs> He's you usually want to protect this card. Um, you kind of need it to be on board for you to do your really good plays and push hard. And then for my grade one lineup, uh, three mini belly to help stride since we have less grade threes. Um, for Mike Saburu, uh, this card is fantastic. This card. Uh, helped out the clan immensely. Uh, for Duckbill and last, uh, for Damage and Flipping Perfect Guards. You don't necessarily need them in this build, but they do kind of help. So, for the starter, I'm running a uh, Telescope Rabbit. He's helpful in the sense that you can use him to turn two. If you didn't draw a grade 3 and you want to play your Mike Sabru, you can use the rabbit to parse something up so it will die and then you'll get your search off and grab your Chat Noir. Then the triggers is 12 crit and obviously that includes 4 chameleon because he's got a great effect. Um, I don't like draws in the deck that much. Um, draw enough power and drawing into a draw kind of hurts. but. And the 12 crits really put in the pressure, um, push your opponent to a corner and then when you can put a crit on something and then that card keeps getting pumped up and then Cran Tiger's restanding that card as a crit, it's pretty threatening. Um, and then my last trigger is obviously 4 heals. Also I don't like the stands, I've tried them, they're just too gimmicky. Um, do the G zone. Um, I guess I'll start with the G Guardians. So first, we got two of the Great Nature G Guard. Um, I didn't like this card too much in theory, but in practice, I actually like him a lot. He's pretty cool. Um, there's some cool tricks you can do with him. Um, things like uh, you can. If I've had to actually drop two of him in the same turn, and I chose the same card twice, that card would get me two on flips. Um, I've also been able to use him, choose something, and then intercept with that card, since that card was going to die anyway. Uh, but he's cool. Um, one Dismal. And one Screw. Um, we're on the G units. One Sea Breeze, because you want Cran Tiger and stuff to go off. One Atmos and two Blizzes just for like big hitters. 
um, against like Link Joker and stuff. So like, or times when you just don't have resources and you just want to push hard, and especially in a deck where you have troll crits, big guns like this are threatening. Um, continuing, uh, two calf plug. Uh, I like playing two of it. I've actually got to use it twice in a game, more than once. Um, especially since there's so much room now. Um, two of the new guy. Uh, this card is really sweet. I, I like this guy a lot. I think he's, like, probably as, I would call him either almost as good or as good as calf plug. Um, giving something like 8 power, um, like when I was playing him in the tournament, I would give like the fox like plus 8, so the card was like a 17 by itself, and then on the drive check it got a trigger, and then it pumped it up even, that made it like a, a 22 with a crit by itself, and it was, it was very strong. <laughs> this card's very good, I like it a lot. Um, then... Uh, two Magnamir, or whatever you say this dude's name is. Uh, I have no excuse for not having four, <laughs> to be completely honest. I just haven't bothered to get four. I used to have, like, more. Um, I, but then I got rid of them. Uh, weird story that doesn't really matter, but you should probably be playing four. Um, at least until we get, uh, information and what the new cards will be from the technical booster, so... You should probably play four of him. Um, if you can't, like me, because you just don't have him, I'm also using, like, Phoenix. Uh, he's pretty cool still, that you can give it out to rear guards, but most of the time, where I used to use Phoenix, I am just actually using uh, the new guy now. So, uh, that is it. Um, any questions about cards I didn't run in my choices and stuff like that, or things like that, Feel free to ask in the comments.